back here on the job uh, for these asphalt millings. We're finally going to try to finish this up. Uh, hopefully I've got enough here. I've got roughly 60, I don't know, maybe 60 one or two ton here roughly. Uh, nine piles at an average of six and a quarter tons, so whatever that comes out to be. Um, so we're going to spread these today. Uh, first thing we have to do is we have to cut up along the uh, edge of the uh, uh, concrete pad here. Um, we're going to cut that down about two inches here and across the front and uh, get that cut out and spread some millings. Okay, first part of the video, I guess you really couldn't hear me for some reason. Anyway, what I was talking about is we wanted to cut down a little bit in front of the concrete pad here and then along the front also. And I will fill that in with asphalt millings. Uh, what that does is that actually gives a good, uh, good, good base up against the concrete uh, versus just having a real thin layer up there. So right now I'm going to take asphalt millings and we're going to do this section first up to the barn up there and we're going to take this as far as we can back to there and then we'll start going over toward the house. Um, I will clean up that part right there after I move that pile. Uh, once I move that pile and start over there I'll have some room and we'll get that moved. I'm also going to jump back on the hoe and we'll pull that bush out uh, which is just a junk bush growing up against the building that's going to cause issues in the long run so we're going to get that out of there too so i'll get on the tractor and uh we'll get going <laughs>
Okay, we just finished uh, spreading all that, uh, all them piles of asphalt millings. This is the final view of it. Uh, I do have to get probably another two loads, another 12, 12 and a half ton in here to touch up along the building there. Here in the front of the pad, there's a low spot up along the building there between the two doors and the whole other side there by the garage. I need to fill that whole area in. I was shy so um, these asphalt millings uh, are definitely a wonderful thing to put in your driveway they're cheap and they're nice easy to do you can do them with about anything so this is what we got so on those asphalt millings um, they're very cheap that, that the fines that I just got are Ten dollars a ton, um, pretty cheap uh, versus gravel or whatever. And to me, the asphalt millings is definitely a cheap route to go uh, if you don't want potholes or mud uh, stuff like that <clears throat> is a pain. Um, I know for me, um, I got tired of having a dirty vehicle all the time. Uh, living here at the house and just having a, uh, uh, a gravel driveway, just traditional gravel driveway with 57s and 8s. seemed like every time it would rain, the mud would come up through. Um, and, uh, you know, you just track it and get it all over everything. You track it in the house, you know, just constantly dealing with dirt and mud out of the driveway. So we ended up doing the asphalt milling several years ago here at the house. I'd done them myself. Um, you, the ones that I done here at the house, I ended up doing with a skid steer, brought a roller home from work and, uh, I ended up, uh, you know, rolling them, compacting them really well. Um, now I did not compact the ones, uh, on that driveway yet. Uh, the beauty of that is, um, once I get the other, uh, couple loads of asphalt millings in there and finish that up this week, um, when it comes time for me to be able to get a roller, whether it is to rent it or borrow one or something, or get somebody in here just to roll it, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll go over with my tractor, and I'll take my bucket, and I'll just run back and forth with my bucket, kind of loosen everything back up, and I'll compact them uh, millings right in, and it'll be really nice, really compacted. Uh, you can put them millings down with anything. Anything from a shovel, which would be... A total pain in the rear or you could do like uh, a box blade would do just fine um, of course the front end of a loader like I just did uh, you could use even a rear blade uh, which would probably be a pain but it can be done um, and, and honestly you could even roll or you can even pave them out you can put them in a paver fire the paver up either you know with heat or without heat and pave those things right out real nice, roll them in, and you're done. Or you could kick the burners on the uh, paver and, you know, help reactivate the asphalt or the AC in the asphalt and, uh, you know, bond them together a little better. Um, as long as you roll them, those things will last forever. I mean, you'll never have to worry about them. Even during the wintertime, if you want to plow your driveway in the winter time and not worry about taking up gravel and having big gravel piles and stuff like that. Um, I plow mine, you know, I use either my bucket or I had a plow truck at one time, used it or, you know, even a rear blade, three point hitch rear blade. And, you know, that stuff just stays. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just like having an asphalt driveway, really. Uh, but those things are nice. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not going to do any more on that driveway as far as a video until I get a roller. Uh, I may just do a quick video as far as the roller goes. So, um, yeah, we're going to end this video. Like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell, uh, leave some comments, ask questions, whatever. And, uh, you know, I've got something in my hand that I'm playing with. This will be about the next video. This piece right here. And what this culprit is, this will be on the next video. And that's coming up real soon. So, yep. Until uh, next time, thanks for watching.